Gucci. Are you trying to learn to code? Are you trying to say that good coin? Well, in this video, is for your beautiful self. So I was just casually browsing through LinkedIn as where I find most of my video ideas. And I came across a post about a guy who's talking about 500 free computer science classes from the top CS universities. You know, the curious cat I am, I had to check it out. But first guys, remember to hit that like button to help your boy with the YouTube algorithm. So the website is called freecodecamp.org and they claim that there are 500 free computer science courses from the world's top CS universities. Now, I was like, hmm, I don't know how real this is. I was like, what are they trying to sell here? What kind of snake oil are they trying to sell here? That's what I got the impression because it seemed a little bit too good to be true. So I looked into it a little bit. Now you may be wondering how are these classes actually ranked? Well, the author of this article who is Manuel Cortez Mendez, very smart lad it seems. So we use these three global ranking systems uh, for CS departments. The ranking systems are QS top universities, Times Higher Education Rankings, and then the Shanghai Ranking Consultancy. Then he does this sort of nifty algorithm where he combines all three of the rankings into just one by averaging the, uh, the rankings for each university. Uh, he then reduces his list of universities to just the top 50 uh, using a, uh, a resource I hadn't actually come across before called Class Central. Uh, he uses their database to then populate the list of courses. So pretty cool. So coming in at number one, oh, I just spilled some water. So coming in at number one is MIT, uh, Stanford at number two, and then Carnegie Mellon at number three. Remember, these are just for CS departments, but obviously MIT, Stanford, Carnegie Mellon, amazing schools just in general. So. And you can also find this dude's GitHub for this project in the description below. So all the classes are hosted on Class Central, as I mentioned before, which seems to be sort of a hub of just various online classes, though I've actually never used it before. So as in the title, all the classes appear to be free. You just have to create an account in order to sign up for the course. Don't worry, I'm not sponsored or anything. Don't I wish I was. But it's kind of amazing how many classes they actually have. Like I was just going through and it's, insane they have courses for ai algorithms cybersecurity, quantum computing um, it's actually insane so as you can see here these are the the full course lists so there's 65 courses in ai and machine learning you know 60 in algorithms 30 in bioinformatics 90 in computer science 22 cybersecurity. you see all the the nonsense on screen so let's say I want to learn about machine learning. So, you know, you can click this link, which will just bring you down to the list. Uh, and then you can see sort of all of these machine learning co courses. So maybe I don't know a lot about it. Um, so this machine learning from Stanford University is really high rank. Let's just take a look into that one. So I click on it, brings me to class central, which is the database thing I was talking about a little bit earlier. So this class is in their all time top 100. As you can see, five star ratings, 360, 640 or 60,000 have saved this course. And then you can sort of see the stats on the side over here. So you can see the provider is Coursera, the cost, it's free, the session, if it's currently going on or upcoming, the certificate, if you get one, so paid certificate is available five to seven hours a week, start date, April 27th and their duration is 11 weeks long. So then you can kind of scroll down, you know, look at the syllabus, you know, welcome to machine learning, everything you could imagine about just what you'd expect in a college machine learning class. So there's just all these different topics. Uh, you see the professor, some related courses. And then let's say you finally want to go to the course. So you just go to class. And it's going to bring you to Coursera. As you can see, it's offered by Stanford and you can enroll for free. It starts at April 27th and it looks 3 million people have already enrolled. Financial aid available, even though it's free. 131,448 ratings is actually crazy. Like that's an actually insane number with an average rating of 4.9. So then you could just go join Coursera for free, you know, sign in, do the whole shebang. Uh, and then you can see some more stats. 40% started a new career after this course. 38 got a tangible career benefit from this course. You know, approximate time to complete 64 hours to complete. Now that's pretty, that's pretty sick. But let's go check out another course. So maybe I don't want to do machine learning. You know, maybe I kind of just need intro level computer science. So you can go, just go down to, you know, computer science. And then we see that, you know, MIT offers a course in Introduction to Computer Science and Programming using Python. 
So maybe um, I want to get into Python programming. The course is free. It's offered on edX. You could pay $75 for a certificate. This one has 14 to 16 hour commitment. And you know, go to class. That'll bring you to the, the class. Enroll starts June 3rd. Already a million have enrolled. So you can see that these courses are immensely, immensely popular. If we want to look at some other ones, uh, Computer Science 101 from Stanford. You can see it's self-paced. So there's just so much. I was actually amazed when I was looking to, to make this video about how much is actually out there. And I think that if you're really interested in computer science, that you should definitely check out this resource because it's actually insane like look at these other things like compilers from stanford introduction to operating systems unix workbench cs 50s from harvard just absolutely crazy about how much stuff is actually on you know on this source so if you guys want to go to this registry you can just find the link for this in the description below it's just called free code camp if you guys are interested in that i thought it was really really helpful i know in the times right now the times a lot of people have either some free time or maybe maybe you're looking to make a career change or maybe you're just getting into college and you want to know more about computer science or you know maybe you don't even want to major in computer science but you want to know some just side skills maybe you want to just get a certificate throw it on the resume that says hey i got certified from stanford to do python like that would be pretty i think that would look pretty good on a resume uh and the fact that it's all free you don't have to pay a dime i think it's a really valuable resource if you're looking to get into computer science or even if you are a computer science major they have in such in-depth topics like quantum computing is insane that they have this as a course so you can see you know university of toronto mit mit like it's just crazy that they offer these classes just for free it's actually amazing from top universities so i think it's a really valuable resource i hope you guys find some use out of that but thank you guys for watching the video if you guys are new to the channel my name is michael i make college advice computer science tech videos skit videos stuff like that if you have any comments for me consider commenting down below in the description below in the comments section down below tell me what you thought of the video comment for the youtube algorithm if you just want to help a help a guy out you know consider hitting that subscribe button and, and that notification bell if you want to know when i upload upload about once a week check out one of my past videos uh, i just recently made a skit about uh, side projects. I thought I had a lot of fun making it, thought it was funny. Uh, so maybe go check that out. Or if you want something a little bit more educational, consider checking out my history of programming languages video. A lot of information there, did a ton of research. Consider checking those out. Thank you guys again so much for sticking with me through this. I hope you guys utilize this resource. Again, I'm not sponsored or anything. Freecodecamp.org. I think it's really helpful if you're looking to get into the field of computer science or maybe just specialize a little bit more maybe learn some skills um, if you're trying to go to a new job maybe get some new internships boost your resume things like that again my name is michael giving you bad british accent when you don't ask for it and some useful college advice and computer science advice sometimes again it's been an absolute pleasure and tune in next time for when i mix up all the keys on my keyboard and then type an essay it's been an absolute pleasure and i'll see you guys hopefully in another video bye bye